Hi guys, I'm Rick Damoth and welcome to Cowtown. I'm going to introduce you to Murhow today. Murhow is, is the oldest, longest running horse, manuf horse turd manufacturer in the nation. They're 58 or 59 years old this year. I'll take you down here, we're going to talk about this camper. I think you're going to be very, very pleased with it. Alright, we started off with a stainless steel nose. Oh, by the way, it's, it's classed an all aluminum trailer. Aluminum frame, aluminum floor, aluminum uprights, insulated ceiling that is aluminum, not fiberglass, but insulated and, and aluminum ceiling. Your dual hydraulic jacks, 14 ply radial tires, uh, dual propane, dual batteries. You can see how clean it is underneath this camper. Now you're going to also notice the corrugation runs from front to back. Now that, what that means to you is you can tie a horse up to it, not worry so much about it. Uh, it's a lot heavier grade aluminum, so it makes the trailer more rigid. Uh, if you can get, keep aluminum from flexing, it, you can keep from breaking. Uh, so it not only looks good, but it's going to last longer. And because the trailer looks better, we'll have a higher resale when you get ready to, to move it. Okay, <clears throat> this particular trailer has got a power awning on it. It's got your step on it, uh, your outside light, your indoor and outdoor speakers, everything trimmed in black. So the, it's very pleasing to the eye. Um, this turf is pretty impressive. We take you inside, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, brought you back here, I'm gonna show you this. Okay, 14 ply radial tires, and these tires are nitrogen filled, which is marked with this, with this green cover on it. Now you think, well, what does that mean to me? First thing it does is you know how tires in, in on your car or vehicle, you go out in the winter time, they're low, you go in the summertime, how the, the pressure moves up and down. Well, when you put the nitrogen in the tires, they stay the same. Now that means a big deal when you're going to, when you're traveling with, with, with your horses. Uh, it, they also run cooler. So you're not you won't you won't have a low tire. You'll have a cooler tire, and there's no condensation because the air in it, there's no air, it's nitrogen, so your tire doesn't sweat on the inside. Water will break down rubber. So they're telling me that these tires will last 30% more simply because we, we that Murhau cared enough to put nitrogen inside your tires. Stainless steel simulators go, goes ahead and dresses up the trailer. Never lube axles, so you never pack the wheel bearings on them and you never have to adjust the brakes on them. Again, costs more, but Murhau cared enough for your convenience, for your state of mind to put these on here, and they're not upgrades, they're standard for Murhau. Guys, you know, you build something for 58 years, you're, you're kinda starting to get this figured out. Notice how big the sliding windows are on this trailer. Massive butt windows on, on the back end of this trailer. Um, horse ties. This is a four horse trailer. There's three on this side. There'll be multiples on the other side as well. Brought you around here in the back to show you again on this particular trailer, the door is wider. Most of them are split here in the middle so you've got as much room and a narrow entryway for your horses. Instead of having three hinges, we've got four massive hinges on this thing. And, and while Bill's here, not only is this, this hinge screwed on, but it's also welded on. Which is, which is a great feature to have on this trailer. Rubber bumper, LED lighting, not only low, but high as well. So if there's a tractor and trailer behind the car that's following me, or following you and you hit your brakes, this tractor and trailer can see what's going on. You're giving a signal, you're stepping on your brakes to stop. So I'd like to tell you, you'll never have an accident with this, but Murhau again has stepped up to the plate and trying to build something safe for, for your animals. Now, one key latching system, you flip it over just like that, and just like that, locks it down. If you'll notice in this, in this horse compartment, we come here, you're fully insulated, you're fully lined, the ceiling is, <coughs> two-way roof fence, you can, they'll operate either way, so you can turn one from, from uh, pulling the air in, or pull the air out, depending on the dictate of, of the climate. Okay, you have mangers, you have rest pads, you know your side pads. You're all spring loaded. Now I'm going to turn loose of this, and this comes my way. So all your dividers are spring loaded as well. You have LED lighting that lights this, lights it up like a ball field here 
in, when you come in at night. And you'll notice up here over your skate door is a vent, the air conditioned horse compartment. Now, the first thing you'll say, I don't need air conditioning for my horses. That's not what it's for. If you have unexpected guests that show up, uh, if you're trail riding and have to leave your pet, you can put it back, put him back here. It's like having a portable kennel. So we've made this, uh, we've made this uh, readily available and uh, works real well for, for all circumstances and situations. Left over here in the rear tack compartment. You know, you come here, you, you have your saddle racks, but notice your, your wire blanket bars underneath it. Uh, you, have, you have lots of, uh, of bridle hooks up here in the corner. And here's the neat thing about this. They've carpeted the interior of the wall they also carpeted the door. So when you hang your bridles and all this stuff, everything's not turned black like you see in so many different trailers. Collapse a rear tack. So if you want to use this to haul an ATV or UTV, uh, mare and baby, hay, uh, furniture, whatever you need to use it for, you, you'll have this much width here. Now, we want to step further. We wired this trailer for a generator. All the wires running behind the walls and it comes up here in the back corner. So if you decide that you want a generator, we here at Cowtown or down the road you want to do it, the turn's already already wired for that. So we've, we've went to a long, again, 58 years building these trailers. They pretty well got this figured out. Even for your future, they, they've, they've even set this trailer up for that. Brought you to the to the driver's side of the trailer. You notice on this side there are there are four more horse ties, three on the other side. So you got plenty of places to, to work unless you have some horses don't get together, don't get along together, you can kind of move them around. Mangers, it's a four horse, so you have mangers, all three, again carpeted on the inside of this. Tons of storage in this particular trailer. Now, you drop your feed door down here. Your double wall and line and a good, thick, heavy bar system here. And you can actually lock this down as you're going down the road. You can fold this up and have, have access to it just like that. If you, if you actually need in it, you can do that. Your corrugation. Runs all the way through, and here's the step. Just like a back door in your house. Put a step here, open this up. When you get to where you're going, you can leave that like this. Got a deadbolt on the inside here, so when you go in, you close the door right behind you, just like that. And you don't have to lock this down. Okay, LED lighting. Not those great big lights that you can knock off the side, but everything's set in the side of this. Um, I think you guys are ready to go inside. I think you'll be very, very pleased. It's a cut above the rest, I can tell you that. Guys, I told you this, this, trailer, this, this camper trailer was a cut above the rest, and it is. This is a 17-foot short wall, a 13-foot mega slide, 13-foot and 4-foot deep. It's the largest slide out in the industry to date. And you talk about giving you some room. This is going to have your fold-down couch, your horseshoe dinette, um, real, real, I mean somebody had to die for this, gator on the back end of this trailer all the way around. Now the first thing you think, oh my gosh, that's thousands, thousands. No, it's not. It was three or four hundred dollars more to, to do that. You spend this kind of money, three or four hundred dollars makes it state makes a statement, but it's it's not a life and death deal. Okay? We did the soft touch ceiling, we did the soft touch walls. This is a very <coughs> calming color, I guess is what I would say. Uh, oak cabinet doors. What I wanted to talk to you about, and I had to get out of the way, you have a his and her entry. So at three o'clock in the morning, somebody's not crawling on the top of somebody else to, to go out here and take the answer of, uh, or the call of nature. Now, we've got a flat screen TV with storage behind it. 
your your uh, players, your DVD players, and stereo system is all set here. One of the big things in this is is the uh, is the fireplace. Now I've had a lot of people say, "Oh, Rick, that's over the top." Well, let me explain this to you. I, I, my thinking was the same. It's like a four hundred dollar upgrade. It's not. Four thousand is four hundred dollars. Okay, what you get with that is backup heat. Uh, you pull into a place, they charge you thirty bucks a night to park and hook up the electricity. You shut your propane off. This will heat your camper, and it's very pleasing. If you just want to just let it run and just look at the lights, you can do that. <coughs> So it saves you, saves you some money being in a place to where you can shut your propane off. If you happen to run out of propane and you've got electric, it'll go ahead and heat your camper as well. So when you see when you see this, the all of a sudden it it it, it be, instead of being that's too much, it it's really cool. It works out good, saves you some money, and to sit in this with your friends, your family, and sit around a campfire, it's going to be be the deal. Who was supposed to bring the hot dogs, or who was supposed to bring the uh, the marshmallows? I'm just kidding, just kidding. But again, you can see uh, you have a countertop here. When you when you walk in the door, you have bar stools. We'll show you sitting right here that are actually locked up underneath this. You have all your stainless steel, your your sinks and your sink covers, a recessed cooktop, and lots of counter space over here as well. You have. Uh, Lots of storage here. Uh, again, the soft touch walls. And then you come here. I'll show you this. I want to bring you uh, here and show you this. You have a nice big refrigerator with a separate freezer top. Lots of storage, kind of like home. But see, so many of these campers will put a vinyl sticker here to cover these. Makes it look like wood. It's far from it. This is a this is a six panel door and this is oak. Matches your tops, ma matches your doors and your drawers. And notice the real nice pull knobs we got on them. I mean, if you ain't the sheriff, you can be because you're going to have enough badges in here. You come right here. If you don't have enough countertop, you have a flip up countertop here as well. Just pull that up. And I've not got it locked, but it'll pull up and it'll, it'll lock right down. So you have countertop here, countertop here, countertop here, drawers and storage all the way around. The mega slide, a matching table, a matching table here for your for your dinette as well. Now both these units will fall down or lay down, and make into a bed. Then you step back into here. You step back into the bathroom. The bathroom is huge. Here's one thing I want to show you too. You have a a door that slides open and close, not a door that's going to swing open or swing back into your bathroom that somebody or walk around. This is called a pocket door. Good, he good heavy pocket door. Let's see if I can show it to you. One of these unsnap. Good solid door. When you step back into here, you're, you'll see how big this is in here. You have uh, Again, soft touch walls, a nice big uh, vanity, vanity top, stools here. Um, to me, this is pretty cool. Can you see this is cedar lined? I mean, this is not something you're going to find in, in your everyday camper. Cedar lined, hanging bar, again, lots and lots of storage, lots and lots of closets in here, and a shelf above that, and access to your electrical panels up here as well. You have a nice wrap around, a nice wrap around shower that you can see here. The doors fold both ways. Then we're going to step back into here. Okay, have have lights inside and outside. Then you have your power fan up here in the ceiling. And again, air conditioning in the, in the horse compartment as well. You know, we're up into the into the master suite at this point. And you can see your your really nice leather valances over the top of your windows. And the window there to the left that Mr. Bill's showing you is an emergency exit. 
So if something would happen, uh, the doors are locked, you can't get out, you have an immersed exit, you can, you can actually open that and escape out of this. Again, it's RVA, RVIA approved, a good safety feature. You can see all the storage above the top of your, over the top of your windows and the and the real night uh, uh, real nice shades that you can see over this one that's particularly closed at this point if you notice that has a glow to it that's not the Sun that is a light so a night light over both windows and then you have lights up overhead now on this wall to the to the right of the camera there uh, that's wired for another flat screen TV so if you want to add a television to that uh, the, all the electrics there, the plumbing is there, everything is there for you to add another flat screen television and more storage up over the neck. Well, I, I hope that I've done this trailer justice in, in what I've been able to tell you. Uh, I think this is a trailer that you and your family can buy and uh, have many, many adventures and many, many memories. Uh, when you get a chance, uh, stop by Cowtown USA. Cuba, Missouri, give us a call at 573-885-6300, 573-885-6300, or go on the web at CowtownUSAInc.com. That's CowtownUSAInc.com. And we have many, many trailers to look for. And again, this is, this is a trailer uh, that will be heavily discounted. So give us a call, and thank you for all the time that you spent with me today.